Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the Maniology Mania Me 005 swatches. I decided since my plate came in so late that instead of doing an unboxing, I would just go ahead and swatch the plates for you. So today I'm going to do this first plate and we'll be using the stamp and polishes that came in that box. The coconut and this orange is hibiscus and I will be swatching these out with my Monocle Stamper and my Beauty Scraper. I am going to be doing these on swatch nails. Just various nails from me swatching polishes. I can tell you that um, this plate picked up perfect for every single image. I had no issues with any of the images on this and the stamp and polishes worked really well. I am very pleased with this. Now the images on this one are a little weird for me. They're kind of like flowers and leaves but and feathers and so I'm, I was kind of happy that at least it had things on it that I didn't already own. Um, a little unusual but I do like it. Um, I am just gonna bump on through these. I have sped this video up because you know these swatch videos can just go on and on and on. <laughs> Um, at the end, I will have a um, photo of the plate with all the swatches sitting on top of it um, for you to get a better look at most, you know, at the images that I am swatching here since I'm not spending a lot of time holding them up to the camera. But I am just banging on through these. <laughs> but like I said, I really do like how well this plate is made. I'm trying to. Uh, Get, get these swatched out because I, I don't know that everyone that has gotten this box is going to swatch them so they may have used them in manicures already but since like I said since my box showed up so late I saw it completely pointless to do an unboxing and say look at the plate look at the polishes um, I will leave some information down below for the Manny and Me box it is a monthly subscription um, I think it's $25 a month and it comes with two stampin' plates, two stampin' polishes, and a, an extra. And this month's extra was some cuticle cream that's really nice. It's on a little tin and um, very nice. So, pretty happy about that. I will be swatching the other plate as well. Um, I have not gotten to it just yet, but we are getting started on it and I know y'all don't want swatch video after swatch video so I'll mix it in later in with you know in between manicure videos there we go gotta get some of that extra off and I am still working on my lighting I anytime I move anything in my room it just completely and I keep moving things around trying to find the ideal perfect lighting setup for filming. It is getting better. Um, uh, I looked at some of my older videos the other night and you know I've come a long way but I am not where I want to be. Um, I want I want there to be no shadows. I want there to be just a really good quality video for you all. Um, I just want you to know that I am working on it um, and hopefully we'll get there. <laughs> And these, uh, you know, to me they look like feathers. Um, some of the, some of them look like leaves. So I, you know, I, I guess you could, you know, interchange them and use them for how you want to in your manicure. You know, if you do them in green, they look like leaves. If you do them in white, they look like feathers. <laughs> so there we go. Got those. And I'm going to do this one big image, and I'm going to do it kind of like long ways on a nail. This one would look really cute, like, you know, part of it stamped on one nail and then continue the rest of the image on the nail beside it. I think that would look really cute. There we go. Very nice. And now one of the full-size images. I adore full-size images because... I know that I don't have to worry so much about lining it up straight on my nail or in the center. Look how pretty. I love it. Then we're going to go back down to some more like feather slash leaf images. Now these actually, these two that I'm doing right now um, look more like feathers to me, but the top one looks like it could totally be a leaf. 
working our way around this plate. We are getting there. Sorry, I'm out of frame. It's kind of typical for me. <laughs> One of these days I will get it down though, guys, I promise. You guys just hang in there with me and I will get, I will get to where I am. All of my videos are in focus and in frame and lighted really well. It is a um, main focus for me right now. <laughs> I mean, because I got the nail thing down. I got the stamping and the water marbling. I know how to do all that. So now I'm focusing on getting this set up right. Without putting a ton of money in it. You know, I could, I could throw more money at some more lighting and maybe it'll get better. We'll see. But it is kind of hard. Uh, I just want to... You know, for those of you that don't make videos on YouTube, um, getting uh, or videos period like this, um, getting things to um, show up on camera and be in focus and stay in frame while you're trying to do your manicure and you know you're dealing with lighting and then stamping plates are shiny so they have light bouncing off of them. Like in this video, I turned my ring light off. You can still kind of see it in the in the stamping plate reflection, but um, you know, it's uh, I had to turn it off because it clears so much. So you do have that, and that's one reason why I got those acrylic plates because I was thinking, oh, problem solved. But then there's other issues with the acrylic plates. You can't hardly see the images. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it it's a tough world out here making videos sometimes. Um, but I'm not going to give up. If you guys don't give up on me, then I won't give up. Um, we'll keep working on it and try to get this dialed in and, and perfect. And I'm not trying to ask for any sympathy or, oh, you're doing just great. Yeah, I'm not looking for that. I just, you know, I figured since this was a long, swatchy video, I, I might as well do a little chatting. Let you guys know where my, my brain is um, on this. So that one I put too many on it, but it's okay. We still get to see how crisp and clear it stamps out. This image right here is really cute. I could see that one like filled in with some you know, advanced stamping or lead, lead lighting or reverse stamping or something. I think that would look really cute. So there we go. So here is the photo I was telling you about. I hope you enjoyed this one, enjoyed the swatches. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this plate. And I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.